After using the CTAD wizard to produce a basic HTML5 interface and associated behavior graph, also referred to as a BRD file, you will need to modify these template files to produce a useful tutor. The following tutorial assumes that you have a working knowledge of HTML and are comfortable locating files on your computer using Windows Explorer. In this video, we will be using Notepad++ to edit the HTML file. Notepad++ is a free program available from the link you see on your screen. You may use whatever editor you have available to you. First, we will look at the structure of the HTML interface that is generated by the CTAT wizard. Navigate to the folder that you specified in the package location or step 2 portion of the wizard. In the main package folder, you will see two subfolders, one called final BRDs and one called HTML. Inside the HTML folder, there are three additional subfolders and two files. If you accepted the default file names during the setup process, the HTML file will be called index.html. If you chose to name the file something else, the HTML file will have the name you selected during the setup process. Whatever the case, open the HTML file in your editor. This is what the HTML looks like for the multiple choice template. The first thing we notice is that the files needed for the tutor to function properly, specifically the CTAT CSS file, the minified CTAT JavaScript library, and the CTAT loader JavaScript file are all being called from the Carnegie Mellon content cloud. Also, the required jQuery library is being called from jQuery.com. This was specified in the third step of the wizard, which is the configuration screen. Had these files been requested to be included locally, they would have been stored in the corresponding folders in the HTML folder where the interface HTML file is stored. Next we see the script where the behavior graph, or BRD file, is called. Unless you wish to use this interface with a different BRD file, you should not have to change this. The visible elements of the tutor are contained between the body tags of the HTML file within specific sections. The main section is assigned to the class CTAT Tutor and contains all elements of the tutor interface. The next section holds the problem statement and solution areas. This section is assigned the class CTAT Problem Solving. The first section within CTAT Problem Solving contains the problem statement and is assigned the class CTAT Problem. To add your own text to this interface, simply replace the text Problem Statement in this section. You can also add images or any CTAT components you wish to add. The second section within CTAT Problem Solving contains the components with which the student will interact to solve the problem. This section is assigned the class CTAT Solution. In the case of our default template produced by the wizard, the multiple choice options may be edited in the HTML as shown here. The next main section of the interface is the CTAT Tools section containing subsections for CTAT Hint Window and CTAT Buttons.